This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, February the 13th, 2019. Today is the feast day in central Italy of Blessed Eustochium, who has one of the strangest biographies in the Roman Church. She was the illegitimate child of a seduced nun. She was born at Prostocimo Convent in Padua, baptized Lucrezia, and raised and educated at the convent. When she grew older, she wished to become a nun herself. Despite the opposition of many in the community because of the circumstances of her birth, the bishop approved her novitiate, and she was veiled, taking the name Eustochia. Though normally humble and obedient, she soon began to display strange and curious spells of unusual behavior in which she acted like a madwoman. And for a time, she was tied up for days. And then when the abbess fell ill, Eustochium was accused of poisoning her. And she was barely saved from a mob of townspeople who wanted to burn her as a witch. Instead, the bishop had her imprisoned in her cell. Fortunately, the abbess recovered, but Eustochium was shunned by members of the religious community. Her spells continued with such manifestations as self-inflicted wounds, walking on high roofs, being found naked in her cell with marks on her throat. On her recovery from each of the attacks, she was a model religious. At the insistence of her confessor, she was allowed to become a nun, and she seems to have conquered what appeared to be her diabolical attacks. In the time that remained in her life, she won the respect of her community by her penitence and her holiness. She died on February the 13th, at which time the name Jesus was found burned onto the skin of her breast. I warned you, crazy. Her feast day is today, February the 13th. Today is the birthday of Chuck Yeager. In 1923, he was an American pilot and later a test pilot. In 1947, he became the first man to break the sound barrier by flying 767 miles per hour in level flight. He went on to various commands, including Vietnam, reaching the rank of Brigadier General in the U.S. Air Force. His biography was told in stunning fashion in the 1983 movie The Right Stuff, in which Sam Shepard played Jaeger, and Jaeger made a cameo as a bartender at his favorite local pub, Poncho's place. In an interview about the movie, Jaeger said, with all the hours were ever, ever totaled, I reckon I spent more time at her place than in a cockpit over those years. As late as the 1980s and early 1990s, Jaeger was still setting light general aircraft performance records for speed, range, and endurance. Finally, today is the anniversary of the sudden and unexpected death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Born March 1936 in Trenton, New Jersey, Scalia was a lifelong Catholic whose son is currently a priest of the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. In fact, he was often seen at daily mass at Old St. Mary's in Chinatown before making his way to his office downtown. Scalia was a Harvard man and a professor at the University of Chicago before Ronald Reagan appointed him to the U.S. Court of Appeals for Washington, D.C. That was in 1982. Four years later, in 1986, Reagan appointed him to the Supreme Court. He was unanimously confirmed by the Senate, becoming the court's first Italian-American justice. Scalia's jurisprudence was heavily influenced by St. Thomas More and the anthropology of St. Thomas Aquinas. He advocated textualism in statutory interpretation and originalism in constitutional interpretation. Many pundits have argued that his death in February of 2016 created the conditions necessary for the election of Republican Donald Trump to the presidency. Trump campaigned vigorously on the power of the court and the need to replace the very conservative Scalia with another conservative justice. For better or worse, Scalia was a great Catholic, a great justice, and his voice is deeply missed both in our nation and in his church parish in Washington, D.C. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.